well, first, it's kind of surreal. Um, you don't grasp it right away that, that it's really happening to you. Um, it takes a little while to sink in. Uh, once you walk through those doors that say the cancer center, and then you, you know you're a part of it. Um, uh, the day I found out I had cancer was December 3rd um, of 2011. I guess I just never thought I'd be um, one of those people. I was hit. My mom is a tough woman. She not only has extreme physical strength, at the time that she was diagnosed, we actually as a family were kickboxing five to six days a week. Mentally and spiritually, she's, she's just a mighty tower. I was, I was ready to fight the cancer. I, I, I was good to go for the fight and let's get on with it and, and get this cancer uh, kicked in the butt. So <laughs> that was my attitude, I guess, from the beginning. I thought I was prepared to lose my hair, um, but it wasn't. <laughs> uh, you know, when it started coming out in handfuls, it's kind of a sickening feeling. Well, when we were in the cancer uh, center, Sarah came with um, some hair samples. <laughs> right off the bat. That was her main goal. Um, even before I lost my hair, that we had something ready. Sarah does an excellent job of um, embracing those emotions, uh, uncovering those emotions, and then being able to reach out to those people and say, hey, um, we can put your fears aside because we're gonna take care of this part of the treatment for you. Just the knowledge that I have from working in, our, in the industry and dealing with hair, I felt like, you know, that was where I was needed and that's how I could help her. And um, I could help her just like I've helped a lot of other people go through the same thing. So our plans were to uh, just shave the hair that I had left and then go straight into the hair replacement. Um, that was a tough thing. <laughs> um, I think because of the fact that once you shave your head, you look sick. You know, it was, it was interesting to be on the flip side of it for me. I've helped a lot of women as they deal with hair loss and as they go through their chemo treatments. You know, I come in and I'm kind of the hair side of it and I realize it's emotional, but yet I try to make it fun. I almost feel like they are my family, but it's different when it's, when, when it's your mom. It all of a sudden kind of puts things into perspective. I know there's been a lot of tears with other clients, and so there were tears there with us, but the hair that she gave me was fantastic, and once I, I put on my hair replacement, I felt normal again, and that was very important to me, to look normal so I didn't have that cancer look, um, that I didn't look sick to anyone else, and that I could look and feel normal again. There were many people that would come up to me and ask if um, when I was going to lose my hair, if I lost my hair yet. I thought you were going to lose your hair and then I would say, well I did <laughs> about two months ago and they did not realize that, that um, I was wearing a hair replacement. You know, we're leaders in the industry in what we do and um, we're very grateful and thankful that we probably have been put in a position to be able to reach out and help people. That we have something that we can offer people going through chemo, radiation, that kind of thing. Um, so it's very re rewarding. And uh, as Sarah had mentioned earlier, when those people come in and she delivers a new hairstyle and it looks as good as their own growing hair, and they go out rather than having uh, tears of fear, it's, it's tears of joy because. Uh, they feel like, hey, my, my life is back again. And uh, they give you the hugs and the affirmation that we really feel a need in their life at that time. Um, my husband's my biggest supporter. Um, he tells me I'm sexy and sassy without my hair. <laughs> when their hair looks good, they feel good. And I think it's part of the healing process. I think it's part of their, um, the way that they can fight cancer 
And I think that's one thing that we can do by giving them their hair back, giving them that natural look. Um, I think they feel like you can just see it in their step when they walk out, whether it was when my mom walked out or when anybody else walks out, you can just tell that, hey, I look good, this is going to be okay. You know, we can, we can take away those fears and, um, and hopefully make them feel, like I said, normal again so that um, they can feel good about themselves.